Okay, recording now. So, this is the Sacred Tarot. I've done a reading. The question being, is Joe Biden going to be the United States President in the White House? I worded it that way for specific reasons I'll go into later. Uh, the answer is uncertain. Um, the first card that showed up, and it's five cards for the yes or a no. Right way up facing me is yes, upside down is no. We got an uncertain. Because the middle third card counts as two, the rest count as one. Add them up, I got uncertain on this. Um, I did three readings using three decks. And out of 28 cards in all three readings, I got uh, 14 over exactly half of the cards were the exact same cards in each deck in all three. So it seems to me that'd be pretty accurate. Um, the Four of Wands is a legacy, which is exactly what we're looking at. Uh, what legacy are we going to leave our kids, our grandkids, and so on? Its inner interpretation is rulership. Who do we want ruling over us? And that's exactly what they do. Second card is a Two of Cups, a work of love. Um, its inner interpretation is revelation. Which And uh, these are the next few days, too. Something will be revealed in the next few days concerning the election. Um, the Queen of Coins is a Libra influence, or influences of a good, high-minded, noble, and amiable person or actions. The dominant idea is I balance. Well, there's an awful lot of balance here when it comes to the election of the President of the United States. The fourth card is the Enchantress, and it showed up in uh, two of the decks. The Enchantress is Arcanum 11, Major Arcanum 11. Um, pretty big deal. So let me go ahead and read something in here uh, pertaining to that Arcanum. Arcanum 11 corresponds to thought diffusion. This process, sometimes used maliciously and sometimes used unconsciously, is a dominant factor in our political life. Gosh. Seems to me this is getting pretty accurate and is the means by which the so many occult absurdities and religious imbecilities are kept alive. <laughs> yeah, ridiculousness in the tarot world today. We can't get th uh, three people, two people to agree on what the meaning of one card means. It's absurd. Each card has a specific meaning and the, the, uh, um, generalization, oh, your meanings are, my meanings are good, your meanings are good. Nope. Sorry. There's one type of math. Okay. The letter A is the letter A is always the letter A. One is always one. Always has a specific vibration. Anyways, I digress. Let me get back to this. This is really important because that's what's going on right now. Some strong, self-willed individual becomes leader and formulates some doctrine, political, occult, religious, or whatnot. This doctrine, this doctrine may or may not contain much of truth, and it may be an earnest conviction. You know, like the left earnestly believe the bullshit that they spread, and some of the stuff that the right has. But you know, they earnestly believe what they have. Either way. Um, or merely the means by which the leader hopes to further his own unscrupulous ambitions. His or hers, you know, unscrupulousness, you know, there's no barrier, there's no glass ceiling. <clears throat> it doesn't discriminate either. But in any case, they attract to themselves other mentalities less dominant than their own who unite with him in promulgating this doctrine. The combined thought force radiates the thought form of the doctrine outwards with much force, and it reaches and dominates a number of receptive minds. These, in turn, convinced the doctrine is true, even though they have never subjected it to keen analysis. Does that sound familiar? Masks? 10 o'clock curfew? <clears throat> Add their thoughts to the thought form group. And in this manner, the dominant power of the thought form empowering reason, overpowering reason, 
through emotion and through emotional energy, a chain is formed extending from the leader as the positive pole through the various links to the masses and the negative pole. Look at what's going on right now. You're being told and fed and force fed all of this stuff. Oh, there was no, there was no proof. There's no evidence. There's no, true or not, you believe what you're told. And that's what exactly what is happening is thought diffusion. And I'll explain that further too. Anyhow, um, the five, fifth card, ten of swords, sudden loss of employment. Over 850,000 people signed up for unemployment just this month. Why is the answer uncertain right now? Well, like I said, there's something's going to be revealed. It's uncertain. Eight of scepters is because of a political appointment being explored. Thorough exploration of a political appointment has got to be done first. It reads like a clockwork of what's going on, doesn't it? The Four of Cups, an increase in family. Is it possible that we might hear from uh, one of the um, candidates that they, oh, someone's pregnant. That's possible. Or it could just be the inner interpretation of the Four of Cups is resourcefulness. There's been a lot of resourcefulness used in the, uh, quote, election. Can't they use every resource available? Um, Dominion. Whew. A lot to say about that, but another time. What may result? Arcanum 16, the tower. The real name for it is the lightning because it happens quick and suddenly. Accident, catastrophe, sudden ruin, sudden destruction, violence, unrestrained discord. And it happens out of the blue, just like that. Um, yeah, I foresee something big happening quickly, suddenly, and unstoppable. Um, the second card in what may result, the Nine of Cups, hopes will be realized. Its inner interpretation is vicissitudes. Vicissitudes is unwelcome, unpleasant change in circumstances. Now, maybe not quite what people had uh, expected would happen. That would be that uh, sudden, out of the blue uh, ca catastrophe where hopes are realized on one hand, but on the other hand, shock. Um, so it looks like a majority of the people's hopes are going to be realized. A majority of the people's hopes. What did the majority want and vote for? I think that's going to be realized, and that's the catastrophe on the other side of things. Okay, um, the effects on people's emotions and intuition. Well, right now people are expecting the five of coins, thoughts toward abundant wealth. That's the stimulus. Its inner interpretation is inspiration. Um, well, there's stuff inspiring people right now to, uh, well, what go on through it? <laughs> through the seven of swords, danger through travel or sport. People are being told not to travel because it's dangerous. You'll hurt yourself. You'll get sick. You'll get COVID. Don't travel. There's danger if you travel. That's the Seven of Swords. Um, its inner interpretation is achievement. So through inspiration, there's going to be achievement of something as well. And there's the uh, effects on the masculine logical constructive side. First is Three of Coins. That's a uh, marriage for money. Hmm. Who, stood, who stands to make a lot of money off of China and Russia and all of that stuff? The Bidens. Um, its inner interpretation is expiation. That is the act of making amends for wrong, wrongful doing and guilt. So it's possible someone's going to have to make amends. Um, second card is an Aries influence. It's a king of wands. Um, or it's someone headstrong and ambitious with courageous and energetic actions. And it seems to me there's been some courageous activity going on by uh, our president in the White House right now and wants answers to the questions. What's going on with the election? Why we're this Dominion stuff? What's all about that? You know, and and uh, what the next week brings, the Conqueror. The Conqueror is uh, Arcanum 7. Natural ruler of philosophy, it's a chief mental, it's chief 
mental characteristic being obedience to ruling authority, discipline, prompt decisions, self-control, and the power to command others. Someone in power to command others. I wonder who that would be. Maybe the president. The Seven of Wands is uh, success in teaching or publishing. Its inner interpretation is devotion. So someone devoted to uh, their, their ruling authority and making prompt decisions, devoted to the American people, I would think. Questions progress, two cards. The Nine of Swords is a quarrel resulting in enmity. Um, renunciation is its inner interpretation. Well, someone's been renouncing the uh, election. That has turned into a quarrel resulting in enmity, has it not? Followed by the Ace of Coins, a short journey. Well, to make policy. It's an interpretation as policy. Yeah, there's going to be a short journey by uh, delegates to go turn in their uh, votes. And, and I think that's where we're going to see something happen. What may result? The Three of Wands, a business partnership. It's an interpretation as propaganda. Well, that could be the news media. There's a business partnership there, but the government isn't there. The Two of Coins, money acquired through hard labor. Its interpretation is independence. We're wanting our independence from what media has been telling us and propagating as well. Um, what surrounds the future? The Three of Cups, a marriage of love, honor, duty, and devotion. Its inner interpretation is research. There's going to be some research being done. That's what surrounds the future as well. Um, also, the Black Magician, unseen fatality, mistake, folly, fatality, intentional harm, malice, deception, enslavement. Well, if you look under 15, which I've got here, um, in magic, uh, by means of thought diffusion, again, thought diffusion, by sending out powerful charged thoughts, they dominate weaker thoughts, and thus collect them as a snowball gathers the size, rolls down the hill. They gain acceptance of certain ideas which are utterly false, but which are advantageous to themselves. They worm themselves in the highest positions of authority by showing power of leadership. And as soon as they reach a position where they can do so, they begin to betray their trust by warping ideas and twisting truths. So the doctrines which were once spiritual and pure become the very reverse of this. So, um, and right now, um, there was another card in here that said that there's a, a, a feelings and an attitude of timid timidity being timid, meek, harmless, listless, easily controlled by others. That's all of you. And you see it because uh, uh, the Republicans, um, oh, just roll over the turtle, dude. Just roll over, let, let, the, let the Democrats have what they want. You know. No, no. Um, I didn't really want to do this reading, make a video about it because I'm I, I kind of had enough of all of you. you. You are you're so willing to comply, be timid, and do as you're told to wear a mask when to even argue the fact that it defies the laws of physics. That mask that you wear, pathogens it, it, in comparativeness, and this is factual science. A pathogen is so small that that mask looks like a chain link fence to a mosquito. They don't work. You will, you, your willingness to lay down and roll over and believe what you're told rather than do research into facts and find out about science. What's the science of it? Instead of questioning authority, you roll over at every turn. So I don't see much hope for many of you at all in any of what's going on. I see you rolling over. I see you accepting it. But if you do, you're going to be saying goodbye to your country. Um, you are. So anyhow, there's a lot more to this reading. Um, the martyrdom, the materialist, that, that's the fool, um, for greedy means and for uh, means nothing other than themselves. There is a, one of the political parties wants only for themselves. We'll be lucky to get the stimulus, but it shows up in the reading that we are. So we shall see. Now let's see what happens in the next week concerning uh, a catastrophe that may happen. Um, now, I don't know if that's going to be a fatality like it uh, 
as in a life or a political fatality. Something big is on the horizon, and I don't think it's good. And I think everyone needs to wake the fuck up. Because right now, if you lay down right now and take it the way you are, you get what you deserve. You get what you pay for. You're not paying for anything. But I'll tell you what. The real rulers of the world, the real owners of this country, they get exactly what they want. They always get their what they want in all ways. So whether Trump wins or loses, they still get what they want. All right, goodbye.